Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Bill. Bill, what's your last name? Knichny. Knichny. And Bill's got an interesting car for you. We're here out in Bloomingdale, Illinois at the uh, Daily Herald's Car Show. And uh, I'll take the camera as I usually do. Bill, what did you bring today? Uh, I brought a 1957 Mercury Turnpike Cruiser. A Mercury Turnpike Cruiser. Now, uh, how many of these do you see? You mentioned that at a, at a convention you saw seven of them, but yes. have you ever seen one in Illinois? Uh, maybe one or two. That's one or two, is. and you've had this yes. car since what year? Uh, 1988. 1988, yep. okay, so come on alongside me, stay right with me, and let's take a look at this car. The first thing that caught my attention, you said 57, and we've got dual headlights. Yes. Now, why dual headlights? I thought 57 was single headlights. Well, um, and there was two states that would not allow um, du uh, dual headlights for headlights. So um, this was an option on other cars and standard on this car. An option on the others. Now, what made you say, you know, I think I need this car out of all the cars in the world? Because it's got some really unique pieces to it. Yeah. Now, tell me about, about these. Yeah, those are the uh, fender ornaments uh, from turn signal directions. And um, and those were optional for this yes. car. Yes, they came, they came standard on the, on the uh, Turnpike Cruiser convertible, which was the pace car from 57. Okay. But they were optional on uh, accessories on these kind of... Uh, uh, any any other uh, Mercury's, and this car has just some really crazy features. I mean, this kind of jet-like air, air vents. And those is are, it are those functional? Functional air vents. They go through the through through there. You can open them up. Not, yeah, I, I see you know, right here. There. Yes. And and even the mirror. The I mean, mirrors. is this mirror adjustable? Yes. Can, is your arm actually reach yeah. that? I mean, clearly you can't reach can't, the other one. Not really, but that's where they were. So that's. I put them and take, um, take a look at the windshield how it wraps around and then even kind of curves a little bit on the top come on back yeah. with me let's take an overall look at the side of this car and I got to move pretty far back so again what what made this car I don't know I you know I'm so excited about your car I don't know if I completed the question what made you say this car out of all the cars in the world how'd you even find it well I was looking for late 50s Lincoln or Mercury um, and I have just I just ran ac I ran across this in the old car trader book with a picture of it and I figure I'd never seen one before so I'm gonna go look at it and and when I seen it I says well I've never seen one so I think that's what I'm gonna get says I didn't want what everybody else has and you know common cars so I wanted something unusual and uh, I think this uh, this does it. <laughs> this completes uh, this completes the mission of unusual. Oh yeah. Turnpike cruiser. And check out the back windshield. Yep, the back window is power. It, power back it powers window. up. Powers up and down. What is the tail ornament? That's just a uh, tail ornament. back ornament. That's that's what they put on them all. On the uh, Monterey Montclair, they're inside the car, and this one is the outside of the car. So yeah, some of them did light up. Some of them had a, a they lit up. But that this is, one doesn't. Yes. That is a cool little feature yeah. there. Let me show this. This in, it, what is this insert? It's it's obviously gold a, anodized aluminum insert. Aluminum. That's a gold okay. package where it had the gold on on the uh, on the back and the gold M in the front. So this is the gold package. Yes. So is, this would be the higher standard, if you will. I'm right. gonna get behind it. This Continental kit was also something that was uh, a dealer option. Yes. That was optional, and it was that and the skirts and the stone guards were all part of the whole deal. Wow. Some, Go ahead, but, you're uh, saying. Yeah, some just have the, the, the skirts, the cruiser skirts, but on this one, it's got the, all of it. Show how you get into the trunk. That's kind of unique. Okay. So you just grab, wait, let me oh, just. You just gotta you pull that out. Grab yeah. this handle. Yeah, yeah. Pick it, pick and it, it does right that. Out. Let me just show how that looks. Yeah. Like that. And while we're here, I just wanna show this that you normally wouldn't see, cause that's in the way. Yeah. But there's another piece there. and. That little head comes down there it is. like so. Yep. All right, where do you put the gas? Oh, the gas goes right here. Gas goes right so you do have to pull that up yes. for the gas every time. Yep. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. Now you've got a unique story even with this interior. Look at these stone guards, that's crazy. And it goes all the way up to, it goes all the way. This, this covers the whole thing, <laughs> all the way above the wheel well. Well, stay it right there for a second. It goes right there. Look at me for a second. What kind of reaction do you get from people when you're driving this? Oh. 
it's unbelievable. It, it, <laughs> I can't even pull over to the next lane because they're just sitting there looking at it. And if I have to get over or whatever, they just, you know, yeah. then, then, then they go by and then the next one pulls up and the next one pulls up. So they just so keep pulling up all day long. They just keep on pulling up all the time when I'm driving it, you know. <laughs> all so. right. Look at the curve in the back window here. Yeah. It's just crazy. All right, let's take a look at the interior. Thank you. Um, that is a big door. That is an awful big door. Yeah, big door. Everything's uh, back to original. Look at, look at how the the piece here that yeah, matches the gold. that there. Yes. Tell me about this interior, because you 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 found found the original interior left over from uh, from the dealers or from the factory leftovers from Mercury, and they were in a warehouse up in um, uh, Detroit near Michigan, near Detroit, Michigan. And the speaker back so, there. The speaker's back there and it has the emblem embossed in the back seat. Let me see if I can get So that. that's how you, we really know that it's the original interior. Wow. And it's the original interior that came with this car, black, white, with yes. the with the Chinese cloth, it's called. Chinese so that's the original cloth. stuff. I found it in the box. In so, the box. Yep. Okay. All right, so let me get just a few of the details here. I love the little tags. Mm -hmm. Get your hood release. Yeah. The push button transmission. Push button start. What's the red push, one for? Um, brake? Uh, that's a parking brake. What's it's this? It's all push buddy. Those are the vents that come out from underneath the car, you know, that yeah. fresh air. And this is a power window? That's the power, that's the back window for the power. The back window power. Back window power. Oh, cool. It's got the flat top steering wheel. We're, we're gonna we're gonna start it. When we start it, we'll have to have the back window go up and down because right. that's just way too cool. Yeah. I can just put it on an accessory and then okay. and we can, we your can, stock. Nice turned dash. Yeah. And you got your thermostat. And does this does this kind of slide it along? Slide, it slides over, right? Look at and, that. Um, and a tack. It's got the tachometer, and it's got the the clock on the other side. It's like a computer clock where you can set it for the odometer reading and see you can set the time when you left and see how many miles you went and kind of average it out. What's now, this ABC thing? Now that's the memory power seat. The so when you turn off the car, it'll seat. let you all the way out. It'll, the seat will <laughs> go back all the way out. Yeah. You can get out. When you put the key back in accessory, it goes back to exactly where you had it. That's for 1957. Right. Amazing. It's got the power antenna with the town and country radio. Look at this. And, um, little box and um, it doesn't have power windows but that's amazing. about all that's missing. That look, at the, look at the, the vents here yes, up in the, fresh air up vents. the top. Wow. Okay, let's pop the hood. Let's show how the hood opens. There's the latch here and yep. then it opens this way and we got the sun beaming in on it. What size engine is this? Uh, 368. They put that in the Lincolns in 57 and 56 and 57 Lincoln and 57 uh, uh, 56 and 7 Continentals. And they put it in the 57 Mercury. That was optional in the Monterey Montclair, but standard in the Turnpike Cruiser. Standard. So the tur is the Turnpike Cruiser the, the high end? Is yes. It? You can see the emblem. Oh, here. I love that. Yes. Yeah, have, have the emblem on it. That is great. Yeah. People kind of take that in, and it's got the front mm. and the oil. Well, Bill, we got to start her up, right? I mean, right. <laughs> we got to hear a little bit of it, so. Uh, All right. We'll get a little exhaust note as well. I see there's a little tag there. Looks like a firing order right there. Wow. Is that quiet or what? Yeah. Isn't it? That oh, yeah. is really super smooth. Let me, you know what, do me a favor. Just a little, a little step on it. Just, you know, want to hear a little, listen to that rumble. Look at the way it contours. Beautiful. And the cool tail. Yeah, let's see the window. Go ahead. Oh, way too cool. That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. All right, let's shut her down. All right. Amazing. Let's shut the door and shut the hood and have you stand right next to her. Does your car have a name or anything? Nope. No That's name. all right. No. That... No name. Bill. 
What a treat. Thanks for having such an awesome right. car. Thanks for sharing some time with my car story and uh, looking forward to seeing what viewers think of your car. Okay, thank you.